Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 17. Moreover, Achithophel said unto Absalom, Let me now choose out twelve thousand men, and I will arise and pursue after David this night. And I will come upon him while he is weary and weak-handed, and will make him afraid. And all the people that are with him shall flee, and I will smite at the king only. And I will bring back all the people unto you. The man whom you seek is as if all returned. So all the people shall be in peace. And the saying pleased of Shalom well. And all the elders of Yashar'el. Then said Avshalom, Call now Hushai the Arki also, and let us hear likewise what he says. And when Hushai was come to Avshalom, Avshalom spoke unto him, saying, Achitophel has spoken after this manner. Shall we do after eth his saying? If not, speak you. And Hushai said unto Avshalom, the counsel that Achitophel has given is not good at this time. For, said Hushai, you know eth your father and eth his men, that they be mighty men, and they be chafed in their minds as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field. And your father is a man of war and will not lodge eth with the people. Behold, he is hid now in some pit or in some other place. And it will come to pass, when some of them be overthrown at the first, that whosoever hears it will say, There is a slaughter among the people that follow Av Shalom. And he also that is valiant, whose heart is as the heart of a lion, shall utterly melt. For all Yashara'el knows that your father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. Therefore I counsel that all Yashara'el be generally gathered unto you, from Dan even to Be'er Shiva, as the sand that is by the sea for multitude, and that you go to battle in your own person. So shall we come upon him in some place where he shall be found, and we will light upon him as the dew falls on the ground. And of him and of all the men that are with him, there shall not be left so much as one. Moreover, if he be gotten into a city, then shall all Yashara'el Bring ropes to that city, and we will draw it into the river, until there be not one small stone found there. And Avshalom and all the men of Yashara'el said, The counsel of Hushai the Arki is better than the counsel of Ahithophel, for Yahuwah had appointed to defeat at the good counsel of Ahithophel, to the intent that Yahuwah might bring eth the evil upon Av Shalom. Then said Hushai unto Sedoch and to Aviathar the priests, Thus and thus did Achithophel counsel eth Av Shalom and eth the elders of Yashara'el, and thus and thus have I counseled. Now therefore send quickly and tell David, saying, Lodge not this night in the plains of the wilderness, but speedily pass over, lest the king be swallowed up, and all the people that are with him. Now Yahunathan and Ahimaatz stayed by Ain Rogel, for they might not be seen to come into the city. And a wench went and told them, and they went and told King David, Nevertheless, a lad saw them and told Avshalom, but they went, both of them, away quickly.
and came to a man's house in Bachurim, which had a well in his court, whither they went down. And the woman took and spread eth a covering over the well's mouth, and spread a ground corn thereon, and the thing was not known. And when Avshalom's servants came to the woman to the house, they said, Where is Achimaatz and Yahunathan? And the woman said unto them, They be gone over the brook of water. And when they had sought and could not find them, they returned to Yerushalayim. And it came to pass, after they were departed, that they came up out of the well and went and told King David, and said unto El David, Arise, and pass quickly over at the water, for thus has Achitophel counseled against you. Then David arose, and all the people that were with him, and they passed over at the Yardan by the morning light. There lacked not one of them that was not gone over at the Yardan. And when Achitophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled at his ass and arose and got him home to his house, to his city, and put his household in order and hanged himself and died and was buried in the sepulcher of his father. Then David came to Machanaim and Avshalom passed over at the Yardan, he and all the men of Yashadael with him, and Eth Avshalom made Amasa captain of the host instead of Yoav, which Amasa was a man's son, whose name was Yithra, a Yasher Eli, that went into Avigail, the daughter of Nechash, sister to Seru Ya, Yoav's mother. So Yasher El and Avshalom pitched in the land of Gilad. And it came to pass, when David was come to Machanaim, that Shovi, the son of Nechash, of Rabbah, of the children of Eman, and Mekir, the son of Amiel, of Lodivar, and Bazilai, uh, rather, the Giladi of Rogelim, brought beds and basins and earthen vessels and wheat and barley and flour, and parched grain, and beans, and lentils, and parched pulse, and honey, and butter, and sheep, and cheese of kine for David, and for the people that were with him, to eat. For they said, The people are hungry, and weary, and thirsty in the wilderness.